Okay, I just opened up my favorite design program. This is the one that I use to design my basements for my clients. This is the Home Designer Suite 2012 program. And uh, what, I've, what I've done here is I've opened up a couple of the actual plans that I've done for my clients to show you, you know, the space that they had for their bar and the types of bars that we could design for those spaces. Now this particular job here, you can see this is a rather large basement, um, lots of different areas. He already has a gym and a bedroom and a family room and a, a game area, a very large basement. So he had the space over here in this one corner right over here, which is about a 10 by 11 area, which is about 110 square feet, to put a sit-down bar. Now this is about an 8 foot wide bar, and um, he has the room for it. Now, if this was a smaller job, let me open up another one here. Now, this is a, uh, a job that I planned out for another client where the basement was maybe half the size. And you can see they still had room for a bathroom over here, a home office, a little gym area, a little storage. But they wanted a bar, and originally they wanted a walk, walk up bar, or a sit down bar rather. And I only had room to put this little walk up bar in right over here, which is five feet wide. Right, it's got a little refrigerator underneath. It's got a sink. Now, you know, if they if they would have been willing to give up, maybe let's say their home theater area or their home gym area right over here, I could have easily designed a a sit down bar over in this area. But since they wanted to keep all the zones that they originally had on their wish list uh, a reality, um, we really didn't have room. If I would have put a big sit-down bar over here, it would have ate up half of the home gym, and they just wouldn't have had the room for the equipment that they wanted to put in there. All right, back to that other one again. So if you look at this bar here, we'll, we'll take an overview look here. Go down inside. And let's see. We can zoom in on that. See, they've got a real nice area over here. Like I said, this is about 11 foot from the wall out to the column. There's a support column here. And then from the column back to this wall, 10 feet. So they had room for a bar that was pretty much like the one I was talking about here in the, uh, in the article here on the blog. Um, take another look in here. What we have here is a back bank of cabinets, which is the 12-inch deep variety. Then we've got a 36 inch wide walkway back behind here. All right. And then we've got a 36 inch top, or a, I'm sorry, a 24 inch standard top here, which is sitting on top of stock depth cabinetry. And then an upper tier 42 inch high sit down top that is roughly sitting atop of a 2 by 8 wall. All right. Uh, and that's also going to have like a 10 inch overhang. So uh, I'm not showing the whole overhang in this image, but um, that's the space. And then you've got the stools out here, which you really need like another 36 inches to slide them in and out, move around out in the front here. All right, so it, that ate up almost that entire 110 square foot area that I had right there uh, available for this bar. Let me show you another one here. And here's another bar design here that uh, is pretty similar to the other one that we just looked at. It's another sit-down bar. And if you take a look beside the bar here and look in, in at it, um, what we have here is our back bank of cabinets. These right here are 12 inches deep again. And then we had that same 36-inch wide um, walkway behind the bar. You had the 24 inch deep top here sitting on top. You can see there's a cabinet right here, a 24 inch cabinet. And then we've got the upper bar top, which takes up another um, 12 to 14 inches of, uh, of space on the top here. All right, again, this took up a good chunk of the homeowner's basement. Now you can see we had a column here we had to build around. So we did build the, build the bar right around the column um, in order to make this work for them. All right, but uh, again, this was a pretty large basement with a home theater, an activity area, a game room, 
full bathroom, bedroom, all right, a larger space. But when we get back to those smaller spaces, and like I said before, I've done more of this type of bar than I've done any other type of bar. Uh, the walk-up bar seems to be the one that most folks are opting for because they just don't have the real estate for the sit-down bar. Now this little bar right here just sits up this end of the theater against the stairway wall. It's five feet wide. It's got a little mini refrigerator underneath. This is a 20, uh, this is a 30 inch space from here to here um, to accommodate the mini refrigerator. And then there's another um, 30 inch base cabinet, sink base cabinet here that has the sink inside of it. And that's it. It's very simple. Still serves the purpose that they wanted. You know, th they're all about sitting on the furniture right over here in their home theater, walking up and getting a drink out of the refrigerator and sitting back down on the sofa. This is not a, uh, a bar that's the central theme of the entire basement like those other ones that I just showed you. Alright, so um, when, you're, when you're planning out your basement and you're looking at your wish list and you're, and you're labeling all the different areas that you're dreaming about down there, you really have to take into consideration um, the bar. Now, if you want a bar down there, you're really going to have to decide whether or not you want to give up other valuable real estate, <coughs> excuse me, like a home gym or, uh, you know, an office or whatnot to give you that space that you need to put that true sit-down wet bar in. Otherwise, uh, like 75% of my clientele do, they just go for the walk-up bar, either a six-foot or a five-foot bar. I mean, you can stretch these out to whatever you want. You can make these six, seven, eight, nine, ten feet long. But I find that most folks are just looking for a, a mini refrigerator, a sink, maybe to dump some ice down, pour a drink down, um, and a couple cabinets just to put in the, uh, you know, paper plates, a couple cups, things that you're going to use down there. Uh, a lot of folks will put a microwave on the cabinet uh, surface here, on the, on the countertop rather, a microwave for popcorn or warming up other types of drinks, whatnot. But uh, that's it. And that, that's what a walk-up bar is all about. It's not the central theme of the basement. It just adds to the amenities in the basement. Whereas the sit-down bar that we're looking at in those other larger basements, like this one here, you can see, again, this takes up a nice chunk of the basement. Um, it, it's um, a nice size bar. But this one's about 10 feet wide as well. Um, and you can see all the, the areas around it, like the billiard table over here, the sitting area right over here. And you've got the uh, the home theater right over here. They all kind of are, are, are cent centered around the bar. The bar is like the heartbeat, the central theme of this basement. So I just made this quick video so that if you're you know, if you're thinking about a bar, um, I normally have this speech when I go out to somebody's house and I'm doing an estimate for a, cl a future client, uh, and they mention bar. I have this same discussion with them down in their basement, and a lot of times they're thinking sit down bar. But by the time I, I, I'm leaving their, their estimate, they're, they're, they're kind of leaning towards the walk-up bar because they don't have enough real estate to uh, do that sit-down bar. And there's just too many other zones that they want to get uh, to fit in their, in their finished basement. And the, the walk-up bar just doesn't work. So hope that helps you out. And uh, good luck with your bar design.